Foster tonight. I want to say hi to our, both our live audience as well as our live streaming audience. We're super excited to welcome you to our concert tonight with Nesquik this evening. My name is Emily Wood. I'm a PhD researcher here at McMaster University and I'll be your MC and the experimenter for the research concert tonight. Before we get started, um, McMaster University recognizes and acknowledges that it's located on the traditional territories of the Mississauga and Haudenosaunee nations and within the lands protected by the Dish With One Spoon Wampum Agreement. We'd also like to take a moment to thank our sponsors who make the Live Lab concert series possible. In memory of Carl Turkstra and his wife Kate who recently passed, Insight Foundation for the Arts is proud to present the 2022-2023 Live Lab Hybrid Concert Series. Live Lab also gratefully acknowledges McMaster University Alumni Association, TD Insurance, Long and McQuaid, and Judy Marseille's real estate for their generous support of our concert series. Uh, tonight's research was made possible by the David Gary Student-Led Research Award, which honors the memory of David Gary, an extraordinary performer, educator, and clinician. His legacy lives on through this award, which supports students in conducting research to further our understanding of the power of music. Now, I have a few thank yous to say before we get started. So many people came together to make this show happen tonight, and I want to give a special thanks to everyone involved uh, in this concert and research. So first of all, our awesome research assistants and work-study students, Cindy He, Nicole Fu, Jessica Malong, Rowan Ives, Eris Wong, Tina Wu, and Alison Liang. My research colleagues, Lucas Klein, Dana Swarbrick, for helping put this research together, and the graduate students from Immersion who helped organize the concert, Conrad Svirchek, Elizabeth Phillips, and Cam Anderson. I also want to say thanks to the Mohawk College Broadcasting Program who are producing the live stream for those of you who are watching at home. And finally, a huge thanks to the Live Lab team, Dan Bosniak, Randall Sonadera, Hani Taufik, Susan Marsh Rolo, Sally Safford, Chantal Carrio, Fadi Mansour, Cam Prosik, and Laurel Trainer. I'm in constant amazement with each and every one of you. Not only is everyone amazing at their own individual role, but everyone works together so well as a team. So thank you so much. All right, so as you know, tonight is a research concert, and um, I'm so excited to say we're doing a study on cannabis and music performance tonight. Because the research is still in progress, I'm going to reveal all the details about this study at the end of the show uh, in the science snapshot. But if you're wondering, yes, Nesquik did partake before today's show, but like I said, I'll tell you more about that at the end. <laughs> In the meantime, we're asking you, the audience, to participate in the research during the concert by filling out a survey throughout the show. So for those of you who agreed to participate, you should have a survey open on your phone, which will ask you to complete some ratings during the concert. If you ever lose the survey for any reason, there are QR codes around the theater. You just have to scan it, and it'll take you back to the survey. Uh, so here's how it works. We're going to ask you for two ratings after each song. One is for liking and one is for movement, which you'll see in the survey. There'll be eight songs as a part of the study, so you'll provide 16 ratings, two after each song. And your cue to complete the rating will come from the screen you see here. So once each song ends, the name of the song will flash on the screen like this. Oh, it worked, great. So <laughs> as soon as you see the name of the song, that's your cue, the song has ended and it's time to fill in your rating for the song. So in other words, that song name is for the song that you just heard. Sometimes Nesquik will go on to their next song right away with no break. Sometimes they'll stop in between songs, but no matter what, when the song title flashes on the screen, that's your cue to fill in your rating for the song. So I won't come on stage to remind you, I'm gonna leave it up to you. When you see the song title, rate the song that you just heard. Um, all right, got it? Got it. Yeah. All right. And those on the live stream, a research assistant will let you know in the chat when it's time to complete the ratings for each song. Now, please feel free to take photos and videos during the performance tonight. If you post them, tag Nesquik, how it's spelt on the screen there, and the live lab at live.lab. And that's all I have, which means it's finally time for the music. I'm so excited to bring Nesquik to the stage. I first saw them play at Cork Town Pub about a year ago and when I saw them I was blown away and right away I thought oh it would be so awesome to get these guys into the live lab and now here we are about a year later and I can't believe it is finally happening. Um, I think their music speaks to themselves so let's get the research concert underway and please welcome Nesquik to the stage. <laughs>
Live Lab. How are you doing, Live Lab? Hey, we're really happy to be here. This is a really interesting kind of gig. None of us have ever uh, done anything quite like this before. Uh -oh. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I don't know why I chose to start talking so early, but I'm going to stop right now. <laughs>
Thank you guys. How are we doing? Appreciate that. Thank you for coming out. Wow, there's, there's a lot of you out there. You can't really see with the shades on, but <laughs> god damn. <laughs> Before we start the next song, I know it's a bit of a bummer, but can we get this modern situation figured out? Or cool. Um, do we have faith in that? Or <laughs> is it gonna work? All right, we're gonna keep going, but I'll check in after this song, all right?
Thank you guys. That's a song called Perspective. 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 And sorry, uh, yeah, now, now that it's on, the guitar is so loud. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's loud here now instead of there, but just a little over here, that'd be awesome. We're almost there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Jesus on the keys. And thank you. This is kind of great. Just a tiny bit more guitar? You know, like maybe like a tiny bit. Thank you.
feel like I should probably talk about some of these songs. I've just been <laughs> ripping them and then kind of going on the next, right? So you guys have the names on you, yeah? Oh, okay. I'm not gonna talk about them at all. <laughs> That's it. I wrote this one. <laughs> Let's go!
Let me introduce the band real fast. Once again, Jeremy Hootsel on the keys. <laughs> One more time, Jeremy Hootsel on the keys. Come on. <laughs> On the drums, Mr. Janu Isaac. <laughs> On the bass, Ben Duff.
Thank you so much. Jeremy Hutz on the keys. Janu Isaac on the drums. Ben Dopp on the bass. So that concludes the scientific part of the night. Um, uh, we shall proceed with a, um, a song with a guest. Um, not yet. This song is called Terror, and it is a little terrifying to play, not gonna lie. My friend on the saxophone, Elan Yaffe, introduced me to this song, actually. And we made an arrangement of this uh, during COVID when everyone was locked up. Um, <laughs> um, but honestly, you know, back then, it was, it was things were looking grim in music, and uh, Elan showed me the song, and I, I, I had the idea to arrange it for these guys. Um, and honestly, I do think, in a, w in a way, that arrangement kind of saved this band because we hadn't played in a while. Um, but we put this together. It sounded pretty good. And um, yeah, my friend Alain Yaffe, if you want to come out, he's going to join us on this song. <laughs>
Happy on the saxophone, give it up. <laughs> Genu Isaac on the drums. <laughs> hey Genu, did I fuck it up? <laughs> did I? You can be honest. I guess this is recorded, right? So we're gonna find out. <laughs> well, it might have been, it's probably me. <laughs> All right, we got one more here before Emily comes up for the science snapshot. Okay, we're gonna introduce one more guest. Any of you guys hip to Kendrick Lamar? Yeah? You guys like that album, To the Butterfly? We're gonna play a beat from that song, from that album, from How Much a Dollar Cost, and we're gonna invite my, invite my friend Tariq. Yo, my name is Tariq Funk. How y'all doing? Hey, hey. Make some noise for Nesquik one time, one time, one time. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Yeah. They said, yo, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. It's a system. It's a system with fragments uh, left over in the dragnets. Lacking a name in the form of an address. Nothing humane, we led by suit and pie tyrants that staple shadow islands so we can see islands. From a snowy end, some afford hiding. The prices we pretend not to see violence. Just hoping we ascend a cloud of green smiling. Forget what we've seen, it's all part of the design. And we really work hard for our piece of this vibrant lie. We comply with the threat of the iron fist. Laying down there, you're not hurting silence. So stand with the humans out in the void, dying. Push to the brink, existence on consignment. Their dues weren't paid, so charges were laid. Them officers sprayed their hate filled maids and laid their makeshift home straight to waste, saying, Please disappear. There are profits to make. You deserve peace, so please die in haste. You leave some class and no taste. 
A scar on a beautiful ambitious face It's the final lap in this dystopic race The people are asleep and their memories erased Trapped in a cycle barely keeping up the pace Their suffering is relative but keeps them all in place The leash is made of that green they chase They kill the brother for the keys embrace They walk with love and sharp teeth that grace And prey on the meek till they locally displace Cops bless the land and grace us with a stay alive fee on a monthly basis. The name of this cage is civilization. We eons beyond just let the meat cake, man. Ah. We eons beyond just let the meat cake, man. Ah. We eons beyond that. My history is written in blood. Yeah. We eons beyond that. Ah. See, way past that. Cause see, my history's written in blood Then it got washed out by the floods Like a fossil in the mud And a parcel of that creed of survive by any means Surya wa Falastin Magharbe That travel the sand state Never could call home even if they can't stay Generations never based in a location Reservations but the placement and the station They occupy just a bite of the pot A piece of candy Just who am I? No one can say we are not defined by our pantry Neo-feudal ties to the land we Kept on taking whatever was handed Got commodified and commanded Living to survive barely branded Ah, But that's what we call home in it Home never loved us, not for a minute A zone that would bust us down if we wasn't useful Truth though, it's all about the money Tip for eyes, learn to celebrate Aha, uh -huh. set down the side and elevate We came a long way from how it used to be The people fought back and rewrote fate This tree's never safe, it's floating away in the rain The seas just hide in the cave Won't see sunlight again Heavy supply of the pain don't we suffer to gain? Or are these borders here to distort us till we end up a pile of remains? Will we maintain the same lane? The king's rage steady pushing hate in the vein. Walls, blood on the walls, gates and guns to make you feel small, make you feel safe, make us so great. Make the serfs wait outside of these hatred lines, reserved for the bluest of eyes, built for sound proof in the cries, based on the blooming of evolution instincts and the land for the pew as the prize. The past is alive and the future's demise is retro and feudal, no matter what we try. For souls displaced, the stakes stay high. The wrath of the war cultures our pride. Yeah, the past is alive, the future's the mind is retro and feudal, no matter what we try. Souls displaced, the stakes stay high like they lie. Hey! Like they lie. Like they lie.
Yeah, I can't dim my shine now rock with me i simply operate on a tank that won't empty got plenty starting fires at banks while i'm grinning i'm lucky got my moms to thank she taught me carry on fix your cherry tree even when air strikes me trying to bury we exist to resist like philistine our leaves are evergreen my funk is hella mean my team is obscene we really dope so fly we float these rhymes we wrote is fuel for hope they snatched the rope of gold and choked the richest bloke till he croaks Class war murder we wrote again. Class war murder we wrote. Hey, who you talking to with that proper English? I may be a peaceful dude, but I ain't relinquish my right to defend myself from a racist menace. Rats around and leave you wetted like venison. My sentence you could find heat imported genetically, transported on melodies, atrocious to enemies, ferocious about peace. Its wisdom is from this lease, linguistic sublime reach. Its name is Levantine. I think you need some vitamin D. Maybe then you won't be a sad ass MC. Ah! I just finished my crying spree. Now I'm finally happy to breathe. Oh wait, it feels good to be back The homie told me fam, don't keep it in Release that, middle least rap Truth bombs waking them up, they deep naps Rhymes fully armed, red dotting on the beast cap Each and every tantalizing Funkadelic rhyme and whetted appetites Are hungry MCs waiting on a chance To rip it up to pieces Species like myself had lots to say Yet we had to wait for the microphone So we could spray it Rah! Show it how to rock and roll in Arabic First they called us fobs And then they called us terrorists Now we be going up Higher than a minute At the top of Mount Everest That's strapped to a rocket ship Staying positive through the apocalypse Ain't no stopping this monstrous confidence on a conscious dip Global and acrobatic vocal magic flip the script Nesquik with the boom bap boom bip Thank you very much. Give it up for Tariq on the mic Before I hand it over to Emily I want to introduce the band one more time, okay? It's Janu Isaac on the drums. Yeah. Bend up on the bass. Yeah. Elon Yaffe on the sax. Yeah. Jeremy Hutzel on the keys. Yeah. One more time around, Elon Yaffe on the sax. Yeah. Let's switch it up. Jeremy Hutzel on the keys. Yeah. On the drums, Janu Isaac. Yeah. And on the bass, Bend up. All right, I'll hand over the mic. Uh, my name is Frank. the research study that we're running. Um, so that awesome music you just heard from Nesquik is so cool to me from a research perspective uh, because the band was improvising, I'm sure you realized. Um, and the, if we think about improvisation from a neuroscience perspective, it's really such a complex task because not only do the band members of Nesquik have to execute what they're playing in the moment, but they also have to decide in the moment what they're playing, and they also have to pick something that's cool to play. Um, and during predetermined music, all musicians have to do is just execute what they're doing, right? So given how much more complex improvising is than predetermined music, we might expect that the brain has to work harder during improvisation. And one area that might have to work harder is the prefrontal cortex right at the front of the brain, which is responsible for higher level cognitive functions like planning, um, and uh, decision making, for instance. But what does the neuroscience tell us? It actually tells us that the opposite is true. In fact, when people improvise, their prefrontal cortex actually deactivates. So if you look at this figure, the blue is showing deactivation uh, during improvisation compared to playing predetermined music. And this was shown in a study of improvising jazz musicians uh, and also so shown for freestyling rappers. So that's kind of strange, like why would the brain be more deactive, or the, at least the prefrontal cortex, uh, for improvising? Uh, maybe it helps the improvisers care less about mistakes. Maybe it's our error monitoring system turning off. Uh, maybe it reflects being in the zone, so maybe it's 
um, there's a state called a flow state, known as being in the zone, this mental state of being completely absorbed in the activity that we're doing and we're fully focused and letting the creative ideas flow. And I find this really interesting because there's so many anecdotal stories of improvising musicians who use mind-altering drugs to enhance the state. Um, and one of these drugs is cannabis. And there's so many stories about musicians who use cannabis to enhance their creativity from Louis Armstrong to the jazz greats, um, all report using it for this purpose. And there's so many anecdotal links between cannabis and music and creativity. So uh, we know that um, there are, cannabis is anecdotally reported as a created creativity enhancer for musicians. Uh, there are reports of enhanced appreciation for music under the influence of cannabis. And improvised music like jazz is considered to be heavily influenced by mind-altering mind altering substances like cannabis. So that makes me wonder, could it be that the musicians are using this to kind of enhance this uh, particular deactivated pattern of brain activity? So I am also a musician, and <laughs> I did a degree in jazz performance, and I also enjoy using cannabis for the purposes of playing music mostly for improvising and composing. I don't know, does anyone else do this in the audience out there? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, so here are some pictures of me trying to study my brain activity when I'm playing music high and sober because I'm super nerdy and this is what I like to do in my free time on the weekend. Um, so for me, I feel that when I smoke weed and I play music, I feel like it helps break me out of this box that I'm in. So sometimes I get stuck with the same ideas that I'm playing over and over. And as soon as I use weed, I feel like I can kind of access beyond that and to different ideas I don't usually have access to when I'm sober. That being said, I also make more mistakes uh, when I'm high when I play. Uh, so there might be some sort of trade-off between musical accuracy and creativity. Um, but even though I'm a musician and I feel strongly that yes, weed helps me improvise better, it gives me better ideas. I'm also a scientist and as a scientist, I feel like we don't have that much evidence to actually support this idea. Like maybe weed just makes us like feel like we're doing better, but we're like actually not doing better. Um, there could be no measurable benefit. Uh, so maybe it's all an illusion, I don't know. So um, in fact, there's some research studies on cannabis already and they show that actually people don't uh, have more creative ideas when they use weed and it actually impairs their motor control. So what we really should do is test this scientifically. So uh, is there an effect on musical performance here? So that brings me to the other super cool fact about Nesquik is that they are regular users of cannabis and they use when playing music. In fact, this is their Instagram bio. We get ripped and then we rip. Actually, by the way, you guys should all go follow Nesquik if you're not already following them already. So we thought that their show at the Live Lab would be the perfect opportunity to test the effects of cannabis on their musical performance. So that is exactly what we are doing. So tonight, instead of the Live Lab, we're calling ourselves the High Lab. <laughs> and now I want to tell you about what we actually did for our High Lab research study. So earlier this week, what you might not have noticed that Nesquik actually came in for two dress rehearsals uh, before the concert here tonight. And for each dress rehearsal, they ran that exact same set of music you heard, well, at least the first eight songs that you heard, one time sober and one time using cannabis as they typically would. And we recorded their performances. Uh, we audio recorded their performances uh, of the same songs, high and sober, so we can look at how their improvisations changed when they played. And maybe there'll be this trade-off between accuracy and creativity, like I kind of have a hunch there might be. Uh, we, if you notice, they were also wearing these headbands while they were playing. Um, so we were motion capturing each uh, band member. So there was like some little balls on those headbands that reflect light back to the cameras, uh, which can help us track how they move in 3D space. And this is kind of what the data looks like uh, in the back in the control room. So each one of these little balls is one of the markers we put on Nesquik. Um, so when Nesquik plays in the groove, it feels really good. And we're wondering if we could see that in how they move. So like how sync, in sync will they be with each other uh, when they're high and when they're sober? Uh, we also did something really fun. We did an EEG measurement. So these caps that they're wearing actually measure their neural activity. Um, and you can see them wearing that in the pictures there. We went on a fun excursion wearing the caps. Uh, this is actually for an exploratory side study where we're trying to see if we can tell whether people are high or sober just based on their brain activity. So to do this, we just took a measurement of their brain activity before they smoked and then after, and like we can compare their activity to see if we can train a model to tell 
uh, whether the brain activity is slower or high, but it's very exploratory. And then you might notice we did uh, motion capture them tonight during the show, and this is to answer a completely different research question, which is how does the performance differ when you play in front of an audience compared to when you're alone? Um, so we're wondering, is there an intensification of performance when people play in front of other people? Uh, will you play with more energy? Will you move with more energy? And that kind of brings me to the ratings that some of you did tonight. Uh, we're wondering if there's a relationship between how much they move and the ratings we provide, since not only could the musicians influence you, the audience, but you could also influence them with how you um, move during their show. All right, and that's it. Happy to say that we're all done <laughs> data collection now. Uh, we're going to be analyzing this data probably for years, so I will share the results with you in a couple years. If you're interested in any of this research, if you have any questions, if you want to chat, you can find me in the lobby after the show. Um, and just before we invite Nesquik back on for their last song, I just want to say one more thank you to the opportunity to conduct this research from the David Gary Live Lab Student-Led Research Award. So honored to have this opportunity. Give students like me the chance to pursue our dream research. There's no way we could have run a study like this as graduate students without the support. So thank you so much. And I also want to say thank you to the band, Alif, Jeremy, Ben, and Janu for sharing your incredible music with us and collaborating with us to do this research, not to mention sharing your brains with us as well. <laughs> so I think we want to hear them one more time or one more tune. So let's bring them back out. <laughs>
thanks everyone. Thanks so much for listening to us tonight. We really appreciate it. A huge thank you to the McMaster Live Club for having us. This has been a lot of fun. It's a really unique kind of opportunity. It probably won't ever happen again, right? So we really uh, appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, thank you guys for listening. It's You know what? Doing three of these, you know, three of these days, the first two without an audience, we all, all remarked that it's really strange not playing for people. Um, so playing for you guys, hearing the claps, hearing the cheers, all that stuff, we hear it. It gives us so much energy. So thank you so much. Can I, uh, can I plug us? Is that okay? Is that cool with you guys? Yeah? Do you see this? Oh, man. The Red Dot Barth logo's not there. Do you guys know how to spell the band name? No one does. You guys got it? N-E-Z-Q-W-I-K. How many of you guys follow us on Instagram? Hey, we're about, like, 25 followers away from 1,000. You think we could just, like, get some phones out and make that happen, like, right now? Or... That'd be pretty sick. Talk about mine. I'll, I'll remember that it happened in the live lab. <laughs> Once again, N E Z Q W. I can. Is it alright if I introduce the band? Yeah. Is it alright if I introduce the band? Yeah. That's more like it. On the bass, we have my homie Ben Duff. No, that's not enough. Bend up on the bass. Yeah. What's that, sorry? Yeah. We're at more than a thousand? Yeah. Whoa, let's go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, homies. Really appreciate that. Oh, that's sick. I didn't think it was going to be that easy. I got to do this in every show. <laughs> On the keys, seeking a Nord endorsement. My favorite left wing in the world, Jeremy Hutzel. One more time for Jeremy Hutzel on the keys. On the drums. Did you know hit that clap? Yeah, crazy. Yeah. On the drones, we got Janu Isaac. Janu, do some crazy shit. Do some crazy shit. Do something crazy. And that's up there. Yeah, that's uh, that's up there. Janu Isaac on the drums. Thank you so much, guys. My name's Alif Mehdi. Seriously, thanks so much for listening tonight. Really appreciate it. We'll be outside. Come chat with us.
thank you very much. Junior Isaac on the drums, Ben Duff on the bass, Jeremy Hussle on the keys, Elif Nanny, we're not as quick. Thank you so much for listening tonight, guys. Thank you to the Live Lab. We'll see you outside. Join us in the lobby for a meet and greet. The bar's still there.